YouTube, it's Jen. And Brad. And we're back. It's been a month. Um, so let's start with the numbers. We were in prison. We'll just tell you. <laughs> well, she has stuff on her nose. Um, started this journey at 262 pounds in December of 2012. Um, when I came to you last on June 14th, I was 187.2, <clears throat> and today I'm 191. Yeah, it's bad. Although I've seen much worse, so I'll let you go and you talk. Uh, six feet tall, starting weight 320. June 14th, I don't know what I was. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, but today I'm 233.6. Okay, so what happened? We haven't been here in four or five weeks, however many weeks that was. Um, do you want to go? Or no, go for it. I mean, I was on a downward spiral, spiral, not downward weight loss, downward spiral with... Um, just anxiety and eating my feelings and not being in control and basically just giving up. Um, got uh, tweaked my meds, my anxiety meds, and then um, for 4th of July we went away to his family's and I knew that I wasn't going to try to be good for that. And so I said, uh, you know, as soon as we get back, I'll be good. Well, we got back and after we got back, I saw as high as 196.4, which is ridiculous. Um, and so I'm 191 today. I did, um, I don't know if any of you know, you guys may know, heard, um, Melly May started a diet bet, and it's, it's online, it's $20 to lose 4% of your body weight in, it started like July 3rd or 5th or something, and it ends August 3rd, and it's, um, if you lose 4% of your body weight, then you at least get your 20 bucks back. Um, so for me, 4% of my body weight is to be, I think, 188.5. So I'm at 191, and I still have two more weeks. Yeah, I need to be 188.5, and I'm 191, so I need to lose two and a half more pounds by August 2nd or 3rd, and I'll get my 20 bucks back. Or I could get more back, depending on how everybody else does. But, you know, I am... Definitely more in control now than I was last time you saw me. Um, I have basically gone back to eating the appropriate foods, but I'm still hungry and I've been snacking on Quest bars and almonds and lots of almonds, like gazillions of calories of almonds. But I'm like trying to, trying to rein everything back slowly. The first thing to do is have three meals that are, you know, approved meals and snack on almonds because I figure let's get as many appropriate foods in there and if the worst thing I'm doing is snacking on almonds while it's super high in calories it's something that it is so full of fat it does make me feel satisfied and so I'm working on it 191 is obviously not anywhere near where I want to be I'm super scared part of me is super scared and part of me is like giving up That is where I am. What about you? Just kind of there. <clears throat> That's your entire... Work sucks, which makes my life suck. I haven't run in ages. Still trying to play racquetball, though. I'm just... I'm not motivated to go one way or the other. It's kind of right where I've been for a while. Which is not good, but... <clears throat> I feel like you beat yourself up much more than I beat myself up. But I don't know which is better. Is beating myself up more really any better than... No. That's what I'm saying. I don't... Beating yourself and making yourself feel bad isn't making... It's not a motivating tool. The problem is, and what will always be the problem, is that food is delicious. There is yes. no weight loss surgery that is going to make food not delicious. True. So, and especially when we're stressed out with work being extra difficult right now for both of us yours is actually objectively bad and mine is about everything is changing at work and I don't do well with change. When things aren't going well, I, I really self-soothe with food and food is delicious. So it's the one constant that no matter what is going on, no matter how bad things are, food will still taste delicious. And so it's just, it's been, it's been a struggle and you know, I've been in therapy trying to deal with my control issues and trying to deal with 
having a healthy relationship with food and she doesn't want me to have foods that are off limits or bad and it shouldn't be good or bad it should be having you know an appropriate relationship with food but I have not I can't do that I'm black and white I am doing good or doing bad there's not a middle ground for me yet so and then if I try to just not take it so seriously then I go in the other direction and I'm just like there's no bad foods let's just eat all the delicious foods and that's not good either so The one thing I have not done is I have not had any more Wawa shakes. Because <laughs> you got to have some lines you draw in the sand, and the Wawa shake line has been drawn in the sand because that is just, it's a gateway food. You start with a Wawa shake, who knows what could happen from there. You're seeing sticks of butter. Seriously. Deep fried sticks of butter. Sticks of butter in like cake batter, deep fried, and covered in Oreos. <laughs> that I'm sounds telling you. Interesting. So. So, and uh, thanks Ashley Girls for checking up on us. We hadn't made videos. I kind of was just like embarrassed to say I'm in the 190s. Like I've let myself go. Um, but not saying it didn't make it not really be. And I'm, you know, trying very hard and hoping um, that next week I can come to you 189 point whatever. So we shall see. You got it. Anything else from you? Not right now. Okay. So, short and sweet. We hope you all are big losers. Kick some fat asses. We love your faces. And hopefully, we won't suck. And we will see you next week. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.